force or chi. It's been known to be all different cultures with different names, such as prana for India, ki in Japan, numa in Greece. Even the Vikings called it od, od, and uh, it's been around ever since the beginning of time. And what makes it、um, the most powerful force in the universe is that it ties everything together, right? Now with quantum、uh, entanglement, quantum physics, we're finding that the world is very much like what the ancient spiritual texts described.、Uh, some concepts such as non-locality, as the interconnectedness of the universe, a holographic universe. So those concepts basically. Are what we call spiritual concepts, right? Like the the fact that we can communicate with、uh, with a higher power instantly, the fact that there is an entity we call God or whatever that is、uh, outside of time, right? They're in the beginning,、uh, you know, they're they're in the past, present, and future at the same time. They're omnipotent, and they know everything. They can see everything. In quantum physics, we realize yes, there's actually another dimension above our third dimension, where You, if you were actually a being that existed on the、uh, fourth dimension, you would be able to see everything at once. For example, one dimension is a line. You can see is a line. If you see in the video, is one line, right? If you go into two dimensions, it becomes now you have width and depth. So you have infinite number of lines to create width and depth. If there is an entity on the second dimension, looking. Down at the first dimension, they can see everything on the first dimension. But the first person on the first dimension, they can only see a line. They don't see a square or a rectangle. They can't see that because they're only one one dimension. Now when you make it three dimensional, like now it's three dimensional, right? Now you see height, depth, and width in the third dimension. Can look at、uh, and see that this is not just a line. It's not just a rectangle. It's actually a three dimensional object. People who are at a two dimension cannot see that. Only three,、uh, the third dimension, no people can see that. Then the fourth dimension must be an infinite number of three dimensional shapes. So if somebody existed on the three dimension,、uh, the third, fourth dimensional plane, they would be able to see everything at the same time. Like everything in the universe, they would be able to see instantaneously. Most humans can only comprehend or observe the world in three dimensions. But some people who can,、um, so when you start meditating, when you start working on your psychic. Ability, then you start to tap into the fourth dimension because you tap into this universal field that is every time at once, right? So only your spiritual、um, body can access that fourth dimension, but it's there, and we know that because science proves that it is there, right? According to the science, we know it exists. It's just a matter of time before people figure out how to traverse. For fourth dimension, right? Because now, if if the three dimensions all stack upon each other infinitely, then if we know how to go from one existence plane of existence and jump to another plane of existence, then basically we can travel between places instantaneously. In Taoism,、um, there's a saying that says, "If a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, what sound does it make?" It's a question that makes you. Start thinking about, you know, what reality really is, right? If so, if something happens that somewhere else in the world, but no one is there to observe it from happening, did it really happen or not? Starts us to question, like, what is reality? Is it what we observe, or is it something outside of our observation? Well, the answer is that it's probably both. What we observe is reality, but what also is happening outside of our, our observation is also happening at the same time. But when you go into a higher plane of existence, like if you were a four-dimensional being, you would be able to see everything at once, all at once. So, no matter if the tree is in the forest, your consciousness is everywhere at the same time at once. So, your consciousness is here, your consciousness is on the other side of the universe, your consciousness is in that forest. So, if that falls, you would hear it because your consciousness is everywhere. So, even in Taoism. They were playing with that idea. They didn't know how to describe it with quantum physics. They didn't know how to describe it with mathematics at that time. But at that time, they use these questions and these parables and these fables in order to get people to think outside the box、uh, and to start to see and perceive beyond their visible, what their eyes can see, what their ears can hear, and what their 
you know, conventional five senses are to start to um, realize that there's other levels of existence, other levels of reality 